Okay, guys. Hello. Good evening. Can Can you all hear me? Hello. 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 Hi. It's really nice to see some familiar faces. Wow, yeah, yeah, it's really nice to see you again. Hi, teacher. Hello. I see Lisette Montoya. I really don't know if it is the same Lisette. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Yes. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, Um. well, for the other ones, guys, just, uh, well, can you hear me clearly, everyone? Yes? Yes, yes. 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 yes, yes. Very nice. So, first of all, let me introduce myself. For the ones that do not know me, my name is Nelson Ramirez, and uh, well, I'm going to be with you during this course, well, this module, and um, well, if you have any question regarding to any topic, any doubt, something that you do not understand or is not clear at the moment uh, where I'm explaining the topic, just feel free to ask, okay? Feel free to ask, and um, we're friends here, right? So people that had classes before with me, they know that I'm a friendly person, that I was like to interact with my students and have some fun in the classes. We just have uh, one hour, okay? But in this hour, we're going to try to learn as much as possible. So how is everyone doing today? Um, let me see. I'm just getting a message from someone saying that it's having problems with the audio. Okay, no problem. Okay, Veronica, I can see your messages and it's okay. Don't worry. As long as you pay attention in the class, that's not a problem. Okay, so um, and uh, well, uh, let me explain you a little bit about the rules in First, we're going to like to, to see the topic for today's topic. And today is going to be like kind of basic things, let's say that like that, like introducing yourself and things like that. And uh, because probably during vacations, you did not study, right? Después de diciembre quedaron todos verdad y sin ganas. All right, so it's time for you to be ready for the class and uh, and uh, well, if you have any questions as I said before, feel free to ask. And at the end of where well, we're going to have practices all days during the class. With the practices, I, I will ask you, request you actually to have your phone close to you. If you're using a computer, have your phone close to you because you will have to take some screenshots or take a picture of your screen or something like that so you can work on the exercises that we are going to do. So people that already have classes with me, they already know how to work. How, well, how do I work with that? But there are ones I'm just telling you right now so you know um, what we're going to do, okay? Is there any questions so far or something that you would like to know about this course? No? No, teacher. Oh, um, Carlos, I really don't know if that's a problem that you have, but I think the other ones can hear me, right? Because he's saying that he cannot listen to me. Can, the, can everyone listen to me? Say yes, please, because I mean, yes. 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 Okay. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, Carlos, in that case, that probably is, it's a problem. I don't know if you're using a, your phone or your computer. That might be a problem that you have in your phone because the other ones can hear me clearly. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, well, Let's start with today's class, guys, because time is running. One hour, we don't even feel one hour, right? So as I said at the beginning, today we're going to see things about introducing yourself. I know that it's really easy for you to introduce yourself, so we're going to have just a kind of a practice 
And uh, I'm just going to ask someone randomly just to verify how to introduce yourself. Okay, so let me see if we have uh, Norma Marbelli Ramos. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, uh, can, can you please just make, well, introduce yourself just a little bit? I just want to check some of you just to see how do you introduce yourself, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Oh, what happened? Are you still there? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Helen, do you have a question? No entendí muy bien. Okay. No sé si estoy en este grupo, por eso estoy confundida. Me han impuesto en un grupo de WhatsApp, pero no sé si es de 8, 9 o 9, 10. Me confirma, por favor. Gracias. Oh, okay. So, um, well, for... Well, you know, uh, Ingres Corporativo, they usually send you an email, right? They send you an email with all the information. And uh, for example, have you checked your email, Helen? Has revisado tu email? Or... No, 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 no. No, okay, because normally they send you an email, te envían un email with all the information about the group. So the first thing that you have to do is just check your email. And um, well, if you are in this group, you should have all the information there. Okay. Uh, a moment. One moment, please, please, please. <laughs> yeah, because I really, I don't have a list. I really don't have a list. No, no, no se tiene una lista specifically. But I think that, that, that they send you the information personally. Am I right? En el WhatsApp me enviaron el grupo de 8 a 9, pero en el grupo, en otro que me agregaron, me dicen que de 9 a 10. Entonces esa es mi confusión porque no sé cuál de los dos WhatsApp. Entonces por eso quería saber si usted tenía ahí la lista porque me enviaron uno de inglés corporativo Uh -huh. eh, confirmando de 8 a 9 okay. pero en, me agregaron en otro grupo que es de 9 a 10 entonces no sé, estoy confundida porque yo me inscribí para de 8 a 9 de la noche en okay. ese me inscribí ok, so in that case what I'm going to do, I'm going to take notes of your case, so after the class I can talk to someone for an, uh, for an administration so we can know about your case because I really don't have any information about you. Uh, what I know is that they send you the information through email, right? So they send you all the details about the course, but I really don't know in your case what happened. So just let me take some notes here. Just tell me your name, please. Uh, my name is Gladys Rijalba Martinez. All right, so I already have uh, the information here. So after the class, I will try to talk with someone from administration department. And if I have, well, I will let them know that you need that information so they can get in contact with you personally, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, okay very good. So uh, we are 29 guys. We are a lot of students. This is a big group. Okay, and uh, well, we're going to try to learn as much information as possible today, as I told you at the beginning. Today is going to be just kind of basic review for you to remember some basic things about greetings, about, um, you know, personal pronouns, verbi, and the ways that you can introduce yourself. And we're going to have kind of a, uh, kind of a practice at the end, but this is going to be only today because today is the first day, okay? Tomorrow, we're going to start with grammar topics. So please, 
do not miss to the class because if not, next day you might get confused and you will not know what we're going to be doing that day, okay? And another thing that I wanted to tell you, if someone in the class does not understand what I'm saying, please be honest, don't be afraid and say, teacher, I don't understand. Or can you please speak a little bit slow or like tell me what that, what's the meaning of what you said, okay? Por favor, sí? Because acá se trata de que todos aprendamos, ¿sí? No solo unos y no solo otros. Acá todos vamos a aprender, okay? So if you do not understand, please feel free to ask me. Feel free to tell me I don't understand. Can you please repeat that again? And we are going to try to explain you once again, okay? So with that being said, let's start and let's see. Well. Today, class number one, can everyone see the slide? Can everyone see it? Hello? Yes. Okay, okay. okay. So, um, well, as you can see here, just for today, as I said at the beginning, just for today, we're going to try to remind Greetings that we have or greetings that we use with the verb be. This is something that you already know, guys. This is just for you to get in touch once again to the English language. Because I know during Christmas, during vacations, nobody wants to study. Everyone is focused on Christmas parties and things like that. So today we're going to like Mover eso que quedó verdad en el cerebro. Ahí está perdidito. Let's do it today, okay? So let's start. And we're going to obviously start with the basic thing that is the verb be. We all know that the verb be has three parts. Every one of us knows that, okay? Verb be, am, or am, is, are, okay? Very good. Let's move on because this is release. We all know the personal pronouns, right? What are the personal pronouns? Let me see. Rodrigo Ernesto. Hello, sir. Hello. Rodrigo Ernesto Chicas, are you there? Oh, sorry, sorry, hello. Uh, personal pronouns. Uh... Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember. You don't remember? It's okay if you don't remember. If you don't remember, let me ask someone else. Let me see. Uh, Luis Enrique? Sorry. Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, can, do you have any? Oh. Let me see. Hello, you can hear me? Yeah, yeah I, can, I can hear you. Go ahead, sir. If you know the answer, go ahead. You don't remember? If you don't remember, it's okay. So uh, I was asking Mr. Luis, uh, if you can help me. Yeah, Luis, right? Yeah, I think it was Luis. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay, can you please? Tell me if you remember what are the personal pronouns. Yes, I, you, he, she, it. Okay, very good. Let me see someone else because I heard something over there. Uh, let me tell you something, guys. I really liked to work with pronunciations. Everyone that had a class with me, they know that I. if you pronounce something that is not well pronounced, I would always tell you the right pronunciation because you know, in English pronunciation is something very, very important. Because if you're talking with an American or a native speaker of the language, you know, articulating and pronunciating well, it's going to be the key for them to understand. Okay, so Maria Luz de Nieto, hello. It's nice to see you again. 
Hello, how are you <laughs> doing today? I find it um, um my day is excellent. Okay, very good. Yeah, and family. Okay, nice. So what can you tell me about personal pronouns, Maria Luz? What are they? Um, um, no idea? Lo que comprendo que, que recuerdo acerca de los pronombres personales, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. There we have them. But okay, I, um, yeah. The person who pronounced, pronounced mm -hmm. you said for the substitute uh, verb to be, but I don't say how to say it. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So here we have, guys, the personal pronouns. Mm -hmm. Normally, normally, the majority of people. And uh, when they pronounce ella, they say chi, like in Spanish. In Espanol tenemos una che, right? But in English, we do not say it in that way. No, no, no. In English, jamás vamos a decir chi, okay? Esa es la única vez que si después lo dicen, no es chi, es she. Como que el sonido que le hacemos en Spanish cuando andamos arriando pollos. <laughs> like that. Shh, like that. So that's the sound that you have to do when you pronounce she. Okay? So for the next time, para la próxima vez, olvidémonos de ese she. Porque no es she. Es she. Okay? It's like air going through your mouth. Es como que pase aire por, por, sus, por sus dientes, okay? So we have I, you, we, they, he, she, and it. So normally, normally we have, these are all the personal pronouns that we have in English. We classify them and, with, and we use them with the verb be, of course, and we say I am, I am, or the contraction, what is the contraction? ¿Cuál es la contracción para eso? What's the contraction for that? I am. I am. I am. Ajá. Okay, very good. I am. I am. I am. Very good. Now, let's go with you, we, and they. With them, we have are. You are, we are, and they are. Does okay. anyone of you knows the contraction of them? What's the contraction for them? Do they have contracted form? Your, 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 your their, 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 their. Yeah, something like that. Your, where, and their. Okay. Their. That's the contraction. Very good. Let's move on. And we have he, she, and it that we also call third person so next time if you listen to someone saying oh the third person you already know that when they refer to third person we're talking about the personal pronouns he she and it okay and we have he is she is and it is um what are the contractions for that do they have contracted form or not Yes. He is. He is. He is. He is. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much for those that are participating. I appreciate that. Okay. Another thing, guys, very important. Something uh, in English that we do not normally do is that we know, like, say, oh, let me see. Uh, the contracted form is his, right? His. We have to make clear the letter, the sound of the letter S. Very clear. Tiene que ser claro. So we know that you're saying his, she's, it's. Okay? The sound of the letter R 
uh, I'm sorry, letter S needs to be really well done, okay? So we're gonna be working during this module in all those pronunciations, okay? So let's move on and uh, let's see. We have kind of a practice right here and I will need some volunteers. Any volunteer that would like to help me with number one? Say me, me please. Teacher. Me, who is me? Mar Maria Luz? Okay, go ahead, number okay. one. I am happy. I am happy, very good. I am happy. Okay, um, who can help me with number two? Hi, you are scared. Veronica, is that Veronica? Okay, say that again. You are scared. No sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. Oh, okay. You are scared. Very good. Who can help me with number three? He has he a smart. I'm sorry, say that again. He has a smart. He has small. He what is a, small. He, he is, is small. small. He is, right? Because we're talking about the verb be. Very good. Who can help me with number four? She is surprised. She is surprised. surprised. Very good. Um, what about number five? It is brown. It is brown. Very good. What about number six? We are, we are young. We are young. Okay, excellent. Number seven. You are tall. You are tall. You are tall. Excellent. What about number eight? They are old. They are old. They are old. Excellent. Number nine. Jack is, Jack is Brazilian. Brazilian. Jack is Brazilian. Very good. And the last one. The dog is black. The dog is black. The dog is black. Okay, so as you can see, guys, the this is just kind of a review. This is only a review for you to remember things that you already know. Because I'm really sure that everyone of you here in this class already know this. So this is just our review that we're just doing this day, okay? So let's move on. Thank you very much for those that are participating. I really appreciate that. That's very good. And uh, here we're going to go with the greetings and introductions, okay? We all know that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Uh, normally, students get confused. La mayoría de estudiantes, get confused between good evening and good night. Good evening, we say, uh, for example, I don't know if you remember when I started the class, I said good evening, right? Because you're, you're only going to say good night when you are going to sleep. That's the only way when you're going to say good night, okay? Keep that in mind, guys. So we're going to have here some formal and informal greetings that we have in English. Some of them can be in both parts. And uh, I will need, let me see. I'm gonna ask someone from this class. Let me see. Rufino Amilcar, hello. Hi. Hello, sir. Can you please help me reading this part over here? Let me see, just how, how are you? Yeah, how, how are, are you? you doing? Okay. Fine, thank you. Uh huh. Uh, Sigo? Yes. What's, Go ahead. What's, what's up? Mm -hmm. What's going on? Okay. Not much. What how are you? Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you so much, Rufino Amilcar. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. I just checked, guys, the chat. I don't know if every one of you checked the chat, but we have uh, a message from Miss Karen Murillo that she's part of the administration department, I guess. And uh, well, she's, she left a message over there 
So uh, she's saying that if you have any inconvenience about your schedule, you can ask to the WhatsApp number and she left a number there. So if any one of you had a problem or something like that, uh, you can text to that number directly, okay? Just parentheses, okay? And, uh, okay. So uh, thank you so much. As you can see, guys, we have here, how are you? How are you doing? What's up? What's going on? Uh, do all of you know the meaning or of those greetings? I'm pretty sure that you all do, right? Am I correct? Yes. I, I okay. Let me ask you this question. Are you all understanding what I'm saying? Because it looks like, because I can see some faces like, se pueden ver algunos rostros perdidos como cargando arriba, vea, cargando, cargando, cargando. So my question is, are you understanding? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher, yes. Yes, okay. I understand. Okay, okay, very good. <clears throat> Because I see some faces like perdidos, like kind of lost, like they don't know what I'm talking about, but it's okay. So <clears throat> um, here we have some examples, as I said before, that these are very informal greetings, but we, we normally use them. Those are the most common that we use like in daily basis. If you're going to talk with someone, the first question that you're going to ask is, how are you? Or how are you doing today? Yeah. Those are the, the main questions that we're going to ask. So uh, I think that there's no questions about this. So let's go to the formal ones. As you can see here in this part, we have once again, how are you? Because how are you, it can be both. Because when we say it is informal, it's because you're going or you're talking with someone, with your friend or someone that, that you're very close to. And you can say, just how are you? things like that. But when you're talking with, with some kind of a professional or someone very professional, you can just say once again, how are you? Because it can be in both situations. And another formal greeting, it's what's your name? Nice to meet you. And we all know that, okay? So this, as I said at the beginning, we're just moving the engines that you have in your brain, okay? So just trying to to remember all things. Here we have just, once again, just some, uh, some answers that you can give to those questions. Example for how are you? You can say, I'm fine, thank you. Very good, I'm great, not bad, okay? Those are one of the responses that we can give. We can also, guys, can say pretty good, not bad, fantastic, couldn't be better, I've been VC, same as always, not so great, terrible, okay? I would like to have uh, a volunteer to help me reading this part because I always like to listen to you, like to see your pronunciation and things like that, okay? Any volunteer that would like to help me? Okay, if there's no volunteers, let's go with Andrea uh, Renders. The pronunciation. Yeah, we're gonna go with, with you, Maria, and then we're going to go with uh, Andrea Renderos, okay? okay? Let's go. Okay. Number five, uh, um, one. Yeah, all of them, please. Okay, okay, okay. Pretty cool. Uh-huh. Not, not bad, mm -hmm. not bad. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay. Cold the better. Uh huh. I, I been. I been. Basi. Uh huh. So as always, mm -hmm. not so great, great. Okay. Ter um, terrible. 
Okay, thank you very much, Maria. Uh, let's see, Andrea. Okay, first, pretty good and not bad, fantastic, couldn't be better. I been busy, same as always, not so great and terrible. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see, uh, Jenny Sanchez, are you there? I think she's not there, Claudia. Go ahead, can Claudia. You me? Can you hear me? Oh yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Said, oh, Claudia. Okay. Let's I wait. Claudia. Oh, Claudia. Oh, let's go with um, Claudia Iraeta. Yeah. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Go ahead. Pretty good. Okay. Not bad. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Could it be better? Uh -huh. I've been busy. Uh -huh. Same as always. Not so great. Terrible. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and the last one is Stella Lara. Go ahead, Stella. Me escucha? Yeah. Clearly. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Not bad, fantastic, could be better, mm -hmm. I, I be bossy, mm -hmm. some, of, uh, some has always, okay. not so great, terrible. Okay, very good. I will repeat it once again. Pretty good, pretty, pretty good, not bad, pretty, pretty good. fantastic. Not bad. Not bad. Couldn't be better. Couldn't, Couldn't be, better. be better. I've been busy. I've been busy. Be busy. Okay, same as always. Same, same as, as always. always. Not same so great. Not so great. Not Terrible. So Terrible. Terrible. Okay, so. Mm. Do you guys know all the meanings, like like in Spanish, of all of them? Because remember, if you don't understand any of them, just ask. Sí, sin miedo a preguntar, chicos. Por favor, una vez más se lo repito. Be Couldn't be better. That means no podría estar mejor. Couldn't be better. Si le pregunta, how are you? Oh, couldn't be better. No podría estar mejor. Okay. Same as always. Lo mismo de siempre. How are you? Same as always. Lo mismo de siempre. Same as always. Okay. So are we clear on that? Yes, right? Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry? Thank you. I've been busy. I've been busy. I've been busy. He estado ocupado. See, I've been busy. All right. So if there is no question, so let's move on. So here we have one that is really common. Like, what's your name? My name is, what's your last name? My last name is, it's very simple, okay? We all know that. And uh, how old are you? Yes, how old are you? I am, see? I think that every one of you knows that when we're talking about the age, we are going to use the verb be. Are we all clear on that part? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. Very, very good. Um, questions, guys, that when someone asks you, normally, la mayoría de ocasiones, se confunden entre where are you from and where do you live? See? What happened when someone asks you where are you from? Can someone tell me? I am from Salvador. El lugar de procedencia. Excellent. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Okay, like, exactly. Your country. Your country. The place where country. you come from. Yeah, exactly. And when someone asks you where do you live, this person is asking you like your address or your town, your city or something like that, okay? 
But some, sometimes we get confused because I have heard some students when someone asks them, where are you from? They say, I'm from San Salvador. Is that, is that possible to say? Can I say that I am from San Salvador? Not teacher. No. We, we cannot, right? No, that's not possible. How do we say, Lisette? I am from uh, because because mm -hmm. it is uh, when when I I born uh -huh. nací. Where were you born? Uh huh. Uh huh. Entonces no puedo ser, o sea, nos están preguntando el país, pues digamos, el origen, nuestra nacionalidad, pienso yo, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, of course. So, how could I change? ¿Cómo podría cambiar si alguien me dice, where are you from? Y yo le digo, I'm from San Salvador. ¿Cómo cambiaría ese I'm from San Salvador? If that is not correct. How would I change that? ¿Cómo lo cambiaría? Vamos a ver. Where do you I'm live? from El Salvador. Okay, let me I, see. We're I going to... Okay. I live in Salvador. But I am from... I am from El Salvador. Mm, yeah. No. You're actually correct. Because if you are going to say San Salvador, it's not possible to say I am from San Salvador. That's not correct. No es correcto. So we say I live in San Salvador but I am from El Salvador, yes? Okay. Yes, teacher, yes. Very good. So uh, here we have the question that I was talking about. Yeah, where do you live? I live in, okay? Where do you study? I study at, and we, we can say I study at Inglés Corporativo, I study at, you know, the any other university or things like that. Another question, guys. When someone asks you, cuando alguien les pregunta, ¿a qué te dedicas? Normally, they get confused, se confunden, o a veces cuando alguien les pregunta, what are you doing? They get confused and they said, I am, I don't know, something. But when they want, when someone wants to ask you about your profession, about what do you do in your daily basis? Like if you're a student, if you're a nurse, if you're a doctor, if you're a baker, if you are what, um, doctor, in all the professions, when we're talking about what you do for a living or what do you work or the things that you're working on, we ask the question, what do you do? What do you do? And automatically everyone is going, is asking you, about your profession or occupation, okay? I think that we are clear on that, right? We just kind of reviewing this information. But if any one of you has any question regarding to what I'm saying, just feel free to ask, okay? So, because this was just a practice, guys, we have right now the practice, okay? Is there any question regarding to what we just saw? Guys, are Ay, you? <laughs> Estamos rebobinando ahorita. <laughs> por, eso, por eso les decía, así es que el cerebro está ahorita organizando otra vez, ¿verdad? Despertando <laughs> todo aquello que vienen de la fiesta, ¿verdad? So, um, yes. And can you repeat the previous question? This one, you mean? Yes. Which um, one? The, yes, yes, yes. Oh, this one, the first one, or the, the second one? No, no, no. Um, uh, or, what you do mean, you do? or you mean the differences? The question, the question, what do you do? Oh, what do you do? Oh, okay. So when someone asks you this question, it's because they want to know about your profession, your occupation, and sometimes, algunas veces, le agregan hasta, what do you do for living? ¿Qué haces para vivir, right? What do you do for living? So at that moment, 
you know that they are talking about your profession or your occupation. I'm sorry. Teacher. Yes. Entonces ahí la respuesta sería con la profesión. Profession or occupation? Profesión um, o ocupación. En mi caso, my profession, business administration. Okay, you can say I'm a business administrator. Mm -hmm. I'm a business administrator. Yeah, that's no problem with that. Administrate, pero se puede decir administration y administrarlo. No, 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 because when you say, when you say, cuando tú dices business administration, esa es la carrera. Sí, pero cuando tú te refieres a una uh, administradora de empresas, or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. You say business administrator, because that's mm -hmm. your profession, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions so far? So far, yes, so good. Teacher. Go yes, ahead, Lisette. Yes. Este, aquí iría precedido del, del, de la letra A, ¿verdad? Cuando vamos a dar la respuesta del artículo, no sé cómo se yeah. llama. Yeah, the article. Yeah, but but uh -huh. but but also uh, sometimes it can be omitted, but most of the time, according to the grammar rules, it's necessary to use the article. For example, we can say I'm a student. I am a nurse. Uh, you know, I am I am a lawyer and things like that. It's always necessary, but sometimes it can be omitted. Thank you, teacher. All right, any other question? Someone else? Or we are clear on that? Estamos claros, chicos? We clear? Yes. All right, so if there's no questions, so let's go to the practice. What we are going to do in this part, guys, eh, if you're using your phone, si están utilizando su teléfono, take a screenshot of, of your phone. And if you're using a computer, just take a picture uh, of the screen of your computer, obviously, okay? And just let me know when you're done so we can move to the next slide. Yes. You're done? Done. Okay. It's very simple, guys. This is just for you to have fun this day and remember some basic things that you have probably forgotten at this point because of, you know, the holidays. Are you done with this part? Done. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, I see that someone is raising. Uh, do you have any questions, yes, Catherine? Uh, no? Okay. All right, so let's, let's see. Just give me a moment. Okay, so that's, that's the last one. So I will stop sharing my screen. So we are going to go to the breakout rooms. Vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. We are going to work in teams. Okay, I will be checking all of you. Now, guys, I see that you are in pre-intermediate. Okay, it means that now you know how to speak English. So I will be checking all the groups and I will be checking if you're speaking in English. Okay. This is your moment to speak in English. Remember, this is just one hour and this is only the time where you can practice your English because outside, everywhere else you go, even if you go to the store, that's in Spanish. Si usted va a la tortillería y no le dice $3 of tortillas, right? Now you go to the tortillería, un dólar, yeah? Okay, so this is the moment for you to practice, okay? So let's go, uh, let me check how many students we are. We are 31, okay. I think that we can work in this, okay. Yes, okay, 
Very good. So now, please, guys, try to join. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Este, no le puede tomar screenshots a las, a las, a las imágenes. You, you couldn't. No, no. Okay. No, no puedo. Okay, the other ones, just wait a moment. Los demás, por favor, unirse a la, a sus grupos, please. Join your groups. And I will share the screen with you once again, Adriana. Just give me a moment. Okay, can you see it now, Adriana? Yes, I can okay. see. Okay, so this is the first one. <clears throat> So you let me know so I can move to number two. Uh, next. Okay. Are you done? Okay. Yes, next. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, perfect. So what, what happened with you guys? You couldn't join your groups? No pudieron unirse a los grupos? Hello? <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. Um, we go uh, with the with the screenshots con las que teníamos, con las exercises. You have to uh, work. We, you have to connect with your group. Porque creamos grupos and then we work together, see? ¿sí? Trabajamos juntos in the exercises. And uh, I don't know if you were able to take the screenshots of the exercises, were you? Sorry, okay, I take it. So now uh, we're doing- Because- Uh-huh. Como, okay. como no había escuchado la invitación, no entendía como que estaba en una sala con- yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to, to move to your group and work together with them in the exercises, okay? And also try to speak in English, okay, with them. So I will be checking all of you. Okay, sorry. Cool. Okay. All right. So what about the other ones, guys? What happened with you, Rubia Franco? Hola. You couldn't... You couldn't access to you to the group? Sí, ya estoy. Es solamente una pregunta, teacher. ¿Por qué es que en la plataforma no puedo ingresar? ¿Será que no funciona la plataforma aún? Eh, no, es día uno. El día uno generalmente se les activa hasta mañana. Ah, ok. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Pero no, estuve intentando entrar a la plataforma donde siempre hemos estado para repasar lo anterior y no pude ingresar. Ah, sí, el, el, el vocabulario y todas las clases anteriores luego de terminar el curso se deshabilitan. Y mm -hmm. solo se habilitan las nuevas del nuevo curso. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Ah, yeah. pues sí. Gracias. Okay, you're welcome. What happened with you, Stella? Hola. What happened? You couldn't join your group? ¿Pudiste accesar sí, al grupo? Es... Sí, de hecho sí pude, pero ahorita acabo de tener un problema. Me apareció una notificación y le di unirme y me, me sacó a la plataforma y me agregó a otra plataforma, a otro, como que a otro chat de Zoom o algo así. Mm. Okay, let me try to move you to this one. Okay. Can you please? Ah, sí, a mí me también me salió ese mensaje, pero le di que no y me dejó ahí. Okay, porque dice entrar a sección de grupo pequeño, inglés corporativo, uh -huh. les estoy invitando a unirse a Room 4. Okay, just click yes. Le doy entrar. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. You too, Pero Rubia. Te doy que sí. Yeah. Nos dirige a otro grupo. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes, you will have to work with that group. ¿sí? Son los mismos de la clase, pero en, medio, en grupitos pequeños para practicar. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Stephanie, what about you? Do, do you have problems? Stephanie? Hello? Oh, I think she's not there. Stephanie, hello. Stephanie, are you there? No, no, what happened with you? Se me, se me apagó mi computadora y no me enciende, no me responde, entonces me, me conecté desde mi teléfono. It's okay. So, did you receive the notification? ¿Resiste la notificación? Sí, sí. Ok, you can join your group, please. Sí. Um, hi. 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 Eso es lo que, bueno, es lo que yo entiendo porque dice hello y luego dice hi. How old are you? Es como hacer un diálogo entonces. Sí, es como hacer un diálogo formal y uno informal porque hello es formal, hi es informal. Por ejemplo, cuando estás con tus amigos siempre dices hi y no dices hello. Yo pensé que solo Hola, íbamos a relacionar las preguntas ah, con las respuestas. Yo creo que sí, eso es relacionarlas. Solo relacionarlas. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo Pero está bien raro I porque. With the E, I am nine years old. What? Yeah. Yes. You just have to connect, guys. Connect the words from part one to part two. Connect them. Okay, that's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And do not forget to speak in English. I'm listening Sorry. a lot of Spanish <laughs> right here. Yes. Okay. So is one with Ah, okay. Creo que son cuatro, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Thanks. Ajá, uh -huh. I'm listening to a lot of Spanish here. What's going on? Ok, teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Man. Sorry, teacher. Ok. Ok. And... Hey, Paul. What you what do Please. you do? Hey, hey, hey Paul. Paul. What do what, you do? What do you do? Mm. Hey, remember, no. remember the questions we saw. Remember the questions we saw, and you will find the answer for that. Okay. Try to practice your English. I'll be right back with you in a moment. Okay. Hello, Carlos. Can you hear me? Hello. Carlos. Hello. This meeting is being recorded.
creo, creo que les cayó al grupo, ¿verdad? La foto de la, de la tercera. Hola. Yes. Bye. Ah, ah ya lo vi. Ya lo vio, que ese, ese es la captura que hice. Pero en la primera era, eh, what do you doing? Algo así, ¿verdad? Yes. Y en la segunda, eh, no. fine or good. Guys, please try to practice your English. No me, no me parece. Very well. Sería, I am, uh -huh. oh, yeah, no I, I am Ana. En I am la otra Ana. sería, I am Chris. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Y nice to meet you too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys, please try to speak in English. Okay? <gasps> no. Ay, teacher. No. It's, it's wrong. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, el problema es que yo estoy re perdidísima. Ahí happened? está la. Ahí está la. Ajá. Primero, eh, primero es. No. Hi. I, I'm, I'm Anna. Anna. Y después es I'm Chris. I'm Chris. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, nice to meet you, Chris. And nice to meet you too. La última. Una. Um, and una question. Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher. And this uh, sería um, good morning. But uh, see you again or see you tomorrow, dependiendo de esto. No sé si estaría bien. Uh, which one? Está la... The last, the last one. Part... The... Hey, es... Oh, okay. Aquí this... le responde, see you, see you again, again, or see you Tomorrow, I don't know. Okay, so we we have we have there, and it says, "Good night, Miss Stephanie. See you." If we are, if we are saying good night, si estamos diciendo good night, so automatically, automáticamente sabemos que le estamos diciendo see you tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, all right. Did you finish, guys? Did you complete it all? Yes, uh, yes. yes teacher. All right, so just give me a moment. So we're going to go back to the main session, okay? Okay, this meeting guys. is being recorded. Okay, so I saw that some of you were speaking in Spanish. A lot of you were speaking in Spanish. And when you saw me that I connected to your group, you started like, oh, ya se conectó el teacher, hay que empezar a hablar inglés. Okay, <laughs> so 
try to do it every single time that we're going to the that you're going to the breakout rooms try to practice yeah. your english okay because that's your moment when you are going to practice it as i was telling you before in the outside world we only speak spanish so this is the only time that you have where you can practice so for the next time actually for tomorrow uh, when we go to the breakout rooms i need you to to practice your english okay some of you algunos de ustedes ni decían nada verdad solo callados viendo qué es lo que decían los demás no guys Try to practice, okay? Because we are here to learn, right? Todos estamos aquí para aprender, right? Am I correct? Okay, perfect. You are correct. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. so try, try to do that, okay? Because yeah. um, next time, para la próxima, el próximo módulo, ya estarían en intermedio. So it means that you are able to speak English, okay? So please try to practice things now, desde ahorita. It's okay, Carlos. I, I understand. I try to connect with you with your issue with the audio. It's okay. Uh, guys, uh, si tuvieron problemas ahora con el audio or something went wrong, tratemos que para el día de mañana no nos sucedan esos problemas. Okay? So now we know how okay. this is going to be working. Ya sabemos cómo esto va a estar eh, eh, trabajándose. So um, it's already time for you to go. It's nice, nice to meet you. I'm really happy to see familiar faces and the other people that I didn't know. It's a pleasure to meet you guys, okay? So see you guys tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? And practice okay. your English. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Teacher, sorry, usted pidió lista. No, it's okay. This is was era solo día uno, so it's no problem. Okay. So, okay. but tomorrow, please try to be on time. Mm -hmm. Okay. If Thank you. Have you. Any, if you have any problem or something, try to say it in the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So, bye -bye. I'm sorry. Bye. Bye. Yes, yes. Do not forget to start working on the platform. Siempre, la plataforma. Some of you, algunos de ustedes no les va a parecer activa por el momento, pero el día de mañana va a estar fully uh, open for you to start working. Okay? So, uh, a partir del día de mañana, ponerse al día, ¿sí? Sí, generalmente el primer día es, está, no, no se habilita hasta que este primer día a partir de mañana ya va a estar habilitado. ¿sí? Ok, gracias. Ok, okay you're welcome. Have a good night. Good night.